Welcome to Tales, and our women who made a difference. Acrylic Kids Gift to our community. Um, how did you feel after you heard that you didn't have to go to Hanshu? Hanshu? What's that? Well, I read that in a newspaper article that you were going to be sent somewhere. Well, I was never going to be sent to Hanshu. Um... <laughs> No, I don't know what you read, <laughs> but I can't imagine. I did have a choice of a lot of places where I could go, and I didn't go. One of them wasn't Honshu. One of them was Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. My boss went there, and he wanted me to go along with him. He went there from Great Lakes. He went there as chief of staff, and he wanted me to be his assistant. But... I knew if I went with him, I'd have to spend two years there. And my husband was dead against it. <laughs> he didn't want me doing that. He figured I'd better get out of the Navy. <laughs> so, um, I had some other, other offers along the way. One of them was uh, uh, me see censorship office in London. I could have gone there. I didn't do that either. But I had, well, I had, and I had four different senior staff officers at Great Lakes who wanted me to join their staffs. Now, some of those jobs would have been kept me in the area. One of them was Captain Daniels. He was the head of recruiting for the whole recruiting area. I think his recruiting, he was in Chicago. And I think his recruiting area covered about uh, 10 states. So he wanted me to go to his office as his assistant. I could have done that. Then I'd have to commute from Chicago to Racine, which would be a longer commute than it was from Great Lakes. Commuting from Great Lakes was 38 miles a day uh, each way, so it was 76 miles a day on two-lane roads, because there weren't any four-lane highways then. And it was bumper to bumper some of the time. Uh, summertime, one part, one thing, you know, I think I would have stayed on active duty longer if one thing happened. And you, I could blame the Wisconsin legislature for that since I lived in Wisconsin and I was working in Illinois. Uh, we were on daylight saving time down at Great Lakes. Wisconsin was not. Wisconsin was dead set against going on daylight saving time. The legislature would never pass it because it was going to confuse the cows. They just wouldn't be able to adjust to that. They were farmers running the legislature, and they just wouldn't change. They wouldn't budge. So I would have to get up at 4.45 in the morning to drive down to Great Lakes, and no one would be on the highway except me and the milkman. Now, that's something that dates me, too. You see, the milkman delivered milk then, and that's how you got your milk at your door. And we were the only ones out there until I got to the Illinois border, and then it was bumper to bumper from there on. Because it's an hour later, you see, in Illinois than in Wisconsin. They wouldn't change. And I was at Great Lakes for four years, and I thought, ugh, I had so many things about that legislature and about the stupid things they did that I... Um, I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all the questions I have. Is anyone else have any? That was quite a few, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> I'm sorry I gave you that information, that background information so late. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> I should have mailed it in when I got it. I was in Florida. 1945. That was 61 years last December. And he died in January. He was at Hillview. And he was, he was there for 20 months before he died. 
he had many maladies. Yep, coronary artery disease, um, chronic kidney disease, and Alzheimer's. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.